Hey guys, Christina here, and today I have a look for you in a review of the Good and the Beautiful's unit study, Beginning Chemistry and the Scientific Method. This is geared towards grades five through seven. Now I did it with my children. We have a toddler as well as I have children in grades one, four, five, and seven. My child in grade one was there for most of it, but didn't necessarily take part in everything. And I'll go into that a little bit deeper in a minute. First, I'm gonna just turn the camera around and show you everything that's included in it. And I'll come back and talk about how we kind of modified it, what we liked about it, what we didn't like about it, and also extra resources that we added in. So when it comes, it is a loose leaf um, product. So I just went ahead and used our binding machine to bind it. When you open it up here, first it has a table of contents. So there are 14 lessons in here. There's the featured elements at the end, vocabulary, read aloud options, unit supplies, uh, unit information. So these are the kind of pages that come in the front of all of their science units. These are the extra read alouds. And then these are the words. Now, this one here is just a black and white copy. I went ahead and printed them out in color and laminated them. There's quite a few. But I like to still keep a black and white copy in here, so I just double-sided it so I have all of them, but these are the ones that we actually used. So then it goes into a lesson. This is what a lesson looks like. And I should mention, this is one that I printed at home on my printer, um, just if you're curious. So it prints really well at home. So it starts with the objectives, preparation, supplies needed, and then these little sections, you just go follow the sections and do as it says. So this one had some extra parts to it. So these are the inventor cards. Again, I just printed them black and white to keep in the book, but these are the actual cards that I laminated and you use them a few times. So I have these as well. There's a number of worksheets in here and this is um, working on the scientific method and such. I will show you my kids' book so you can see what they did. I'll just give you a quick flip through. These are the um, extra element information at the back, the featured elements of what it looks like. That's what the book looks like. It is quite a thick book. I don't know if you can see here, it's quite thick. And I'll just show you a few other things. So these are the mini books that come with it. I just went ahead and laminated them two to a page and bound it at the top. And I put all the books together on one ring so that it stays together. I did go ahead and laminate the periodic table because we use this a lot, as well as the lab safety rules, which I put up and um, had that handy. And then there's a few other things that we laminated as well and things you had to cut out for different portions of the unit. I just want to give you a quick look at my kids' notebooks. So they have all of their um, papers they have to work on for the year in here. This is my son who's in grade seven, just to give you an idea. So there were some activities that they had to do throughout, and he did all of them. This is where they had to choose an element. And then I also had my children write out all of the definitions that we did, all the vocabulary. So they have all of that in here as well. Now, just in contrast, this is the book for my daughter in grade one. So you can see like she didn't do this part, but she did what she could with us. She was able to do this one. She added some of her own drawings. <laughs> You can see that she did some, I wrote some stuff. Sometimes my husband was home, he would help. Lots of drawings, lots of princess drawings. <laughs> and some things weren't done at all. She um, didn't have to sit or be a part of Elvis. Like she didn't do this element study. And she didn't do this last one as well. So that's just an idea of kind of how we made it work. I know she did write a few of the vocab words she wanted to, so but lots of, um, lots of drawing for her in her book. So in terms of storage, I just use these um, expandable zipper pouches. Everything fits really nicely in here. 
I like to prep everything ahead of time, so I use little paper clips and just little post-it notes and kind of put everything together that I need to ahead of time, so it makes it a little easier when I need to actually sit down and do the lessons every week. So, pros for this, it's very affordable. That's always a pro with the good and the beautiful. It is a non-denominational Christian curriculum, so that fits with our family um, because we are Christians, so that's a pro for us. It is very hands-on, somewhat. Um, I guess you can make it as hands-on as you want to be, but there is quite a bit of hands-on and visual experiments and trying things, which can be a pro or a con depending which way you look at it. There isn't a ton of prep, but there is some prep, and once you've got that prep done, it is more of an open and go. It really tells you and explains what to do for each lesson and what you need to do. Now, in terms of the negative, um, there really aren't that many. I did feel like for myself, it was a bit of a trickier science unit you know, only because chemistry is just not my thing. Um, and I felt like it was definitely geared for more older children. My son in grade seven, he was able to retain the information and um, they did have extension for grade seven and eight and he did some of those. My younger kids, grade four or five, I think they were still a little young for it. So perhaps that just for myself, I should wait a little longer next time till they're a bit older. I also am not a fan of Play-Doh and there's quite a bit of using Play-Doh in this so I think next time I would invest in those actual little molecule kits just because no Play-Doh <laughs> just a personal preference so I think overall it worked really well it gave them a good foundation of a scientific method as well as chemistry and just kind of what it is now we added in some books we added in some movies uh, things like Bill Nye and some other ones I got from our library. But I also wanted to mention a documentary I found that talked more about the people who kind of found the elements, um, came up with the periodic table, and how they specifically found each element. I found it so fascinating. For me, who's more of like a people person than a science person, um, that really spoke to me and I really enjoyed that. So I'll make sure I insert a picture for you to see which one that is. If I've missed anything, if you have any questions, um, leave it in the comment section down below and I will try to answer it for you. Otherwise, I hope this finds you having a great day. Take care.